Welcome back to Live on Purpose. It's your girl Purpose and of course we have yet another exciting episode of Live on Purpose. Tonight I have somebody with me who is a fabulous model and y'all know how I feel about somebody who slays the runway. And tonight we have Nisei Harris with us and I cannot wait for her to tell us about everything that she's experienced and how you two can do better at slaying the runway. So get your glass of wine and let's get it. Girl purpose and of course I told you you're in for something very special today as we have our own Nisa Harris with us welcome thank you thank Thanks you for so much me. absolutely absolutely I'm so excited I really just want to dive into it so why did you get into modeling it kind of just fell in my lap okay <laughs> other than the fact that you are like I don't know six feet gorgeous <laughs> Totally something that was not planned. Okay. Um, when I graduated from high school, I was thinking I'm going to be a psychologist. Wow. Yes. That's a big difference. <laughs> so it fell in my lap, literally. Okay. Um, I mean, I did some modeling mm -hmm. when I was in high school, but okay. I never thought of this is what I want to do for a professional. I can make money at this. Right. I never, ever thought of it that way at all. Okay. It was just something to do, a mm hobby. -hmm. Somebody's like, right. oh, let me do a show. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Um, not until I I started out doing some hair shows for Christopher Blue. Okay. Um, and I did some hair shows for him. I met a designer mm -hmm. at one of the hair shows. Okay. Vernon Robinson. Okay. And long story short, Vernon was like, "Girl, you need to be on a runway." Absolutely. And I'm thinking like, "Well, I am on the runway. I'm doing a hair show." Right. You know? right. And he's like, "No, honey, you need to be on the runway. Give me a call." Mm-hmm. Never gave him a call. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you really wasn't trying to do it, huh? You're like, no. <laughs> no. A year later, mm -hmm. I ran into the same gentleman again wow. at the hair show. Okay. And he said, when you're ready to start doing something, you you give me a call. So I was right. like, let me call. I called him. Long story short, he took me to my first show in New York, took mm -hmm. me to Atlanta, Vernon Brothers show, took me here. Yeah. And he just threw me into mm -hmm. it and okay. more or less groomed my walk because mm -hmm. I didn't necessarily have a model walk okay. at that time, right. you know, of just doing what they do, hair show walk right. and stuff like that. So he really just grew me and threw me into it. I really have to say I owe my interest and my start to him. Mm -hmm. And um, I just started meeting people from there. Okay. Got with a couple of agencies, right. worked with them for a little while, right. and then just learned that freelancing worked better for me. Okay. Um, had met another business manager who mm -hmm. kind of just helped groom me a little bit more okay. onto the business side of it. Okay. And from there, it just went, you know, doing different shows, mm -hmm. New York Fashion Week, doing this, doing that. Wow. So, and, and, and then I did a show for Bob Glover, Walkie Wear, and that okay. was the first time I got a paycheck. Oh. So when he paid me, I said, you get paid every day? <laughs> like, Wait really? a minute, right? Yeah. Okay. So, and, and it just, like I said, it just skyrocketed from there. It just wow. became a request. People would contact me or contact my management. And, mm -hmm. and it just went from there. <laughs> Can you say that anything has changed over the years of modeling? Has anything kind of evolved? Has the game changed, so to speak? Um, a lot has changed. Okay. Um, back in the day, there there were modeling is still very strict. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say it's not as open as acting or okay. any other entertainment right. industry type right. of jobs. Okay. Modeling is still very structured, mm -hmm. and, and you know it's everyone wants to be a model, but mm -hmm. everyone can't be a model. It's Absolutely. very hard to get into the industry. Right. Um, you just got to have that either that it factor mm -hmm. or you just have to really meet the industry standards. Okay. And, okay. Um, you know, back in the day, 5, 8 was average. 5, mm -hmm. 7, 5, 8 was average. Now it's 5, 10, 5, 11 is average right. for women. Right. You know, yeah. so things like that has changed. Okay. They're a little bit forgiving with size. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, you had to be a you two, be, yeah. a strict two mm -hmm. to a six. Okay. Uh, and, a, and the six was on the low end six. Okay. You know? Yeah. Um, anything above that was full figure. Right. So things are evolving so mm -hmm. much in the industry now. They're accepting that women, not everyone is a two or a mm -hmm. six. Now, of course, you still have some high end designers who want those 
type of yeah. models. They're right. structural. They're, you know, yeah. stuck where they are, right. and that's what they want. But okay. you have some who are a little bit more forgiving. They'll take the curvier girl. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll take the the standard full size plus size right. models now. Right. Where, but you know, statistically, statistically speaking, mm -hmm. the European and the, like I said, the high end fashion houses, they right. still look for those, you know, standard models. Yeah. So what kept you in the industry? What kept you doing this particular? Thing. I grew to love it. Okay, you know, I really did grow to love it. I have to say, I mean, I, I went to Europe. I, I tried the fashion houses there. I tried mm -hmm. to build my portfolio, but at that time, again, I was a little bit thicker than standard. I was okay. told when I went to certain agencies or casting calls mm -hmm. in different areas, I was told that I was too full. Okay, my hips were too full. Mm -hmm. You know, and okay. I've always been a hippie girl. Right. You know, so even though I may have been a standard six, mm -hmm. you know, one hundred and thirty-eight pounds, you know, yeah. there's other eight pounds my hips were still too full okay. for certain fashion houses. Okay. So I just kind of found my niche in what they would call the urban, you mm -hmm. know, um, yeah. field. And, um, you know, doing local and out-of-state shows. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, it, it's been nice. I've been able to build a name for myself. It was a nice career while mm -hmm. it lasted. I've had some ad work, some print work. Okay. Um, I've modeled for, I was one of the Ohio's first Miller models when they did the oh, Miller, Miller yeah. model searches. So all of that, like I said, was good money. Okay. It gave me enough career mm -hmm. industry to where I could pass that information on to someone. Okay. Now, I feel if I would have started a little bit earlier, I probably could have hit that supermodel status, mm -hmm. you know, if I would have right. worked a little right. bit harder at it. But I got started a little bit later. Mm -hmm. I married early. Okay. Didn't really go into it. So by the time I divorced and really was ready to get into it, I feel like everything that I was able to do was just meant for me. Like Absolutely. I said, what God has for you is for it's you. It's for you. And then they got Right, right. Exactly. So everything I got to do was for me. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like yeah. that. So what inspired you to want to, with your eyes shine? What inspired you to want to give back and, and kind of instill some of those things into the youth? Well, a lot, what a lot of people don't understand with iShine, mm -hmm. it's more like your modern day charm school. Okay. Which, which our youth need that. Hello. <laughs> and these <laughs> girls need it. That yes. was my driving force. Okay. So many of these young people don't feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They don't have social skills. No. They're introverted. Mm -hmm. You know, their social media device, you just that's it in front yeah. of the computer. Yeah. Right. That tunnel vision mm -hmm. on everything. Right. You know, so when I thought to start iShine, I said, I want to start something mm -hmm. where one, we can build the self esteem of our youth. Yes. But with me being in modeling, it was kind of like second nature. Everybody wanted to know, how do I get started in modeling? Right. My daughter. Right. And I wanted people to get the information mm -hmm. from a, a source that they could trust. Right. Someone who's not an agency, right. so I'm not trying to pipe dream you or right. just get your money mm -hmm. and just sell you a dream and you know tell right. you what you want to hear. Right. I wanted them to have an honest feedback of the industry from someone mm -hmm. who has worked in the industry to Good. tell them the ins and outs that the agencies won't tell them. Right. Right. You know, because yeah. the, the agency doesn't want you to have certain type of information. Right. They want you to just sign on to their agency. And give me the money. Absolutely. You know, yeah. so if they hand you that information, you kind of take a little bit of power away from them, mm -hmm. their money making power. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to arm people with the right type of information to pursue this industry, mm -hmm. you know, from uh, not more of an amateur you know, perspective versus yeah. a professional perspective. Right. Absolutely. So what we do at iShine is we train. Okay. It's just like school. Mm -hmm. You know, anything you want to be, you have yeah, to learn how to do it. it. Right, absolutely. And train how to do yeah, it. Whether yeah. it's acting, a lawyer, a doctor, you got to go to school for mm -hmm. it. So I figured, why not have a charm and modeling school? Mm -hmm. Not everyone can be a model. So I wanted my program to be for anybody who wants to come to feel better about themselves. So a lot of the parents, probably about 90% of mm -hmm. my students, and so far we've had over 49 graduates from the program. 90% oh, wow. of those students, their parents put them in the program for the self-esteem aspect. Okay. It, not the model. Right. Yeah. And for these young people to walk away from me feeling better about themselves yes. and feeling like, I'm going to go on this audition or this cat and this niece, hey, thank you for making me feel better. Mm -hmm. They feel beautiful from the inside out. I love it. That's what's most rewarding right. about my program. Wow. I, that these young people feel better about themselves because mm -hmm. society is just killing them. Yes, they are. From the inside. Yes, they are. <laughs> Absolutely. From the inside. Yeah. Okay, so what are some of the things that you teach them, the, like the core values or mm -hmm. things that are involved with your charm and etiquette? Well, we teach them um, proper etiquette from the standpoint of socializing. 
okay. social networking, okay. how to you know network when you're out at events mm -hmm. or at functions or just meeting new people, being mm -hmm. open to relationship. Yeah. Where a lot of young people, as we know, are not open They're to not. relationship. Right. It's like why, you know, I had some kids come to my class. They were a little antisocial, mm -hmm. and it's like, well, I don't know these people. I don't want to meet them. Right. You know? yeah. But I'm like, well, what type of person do you think you are? Do mm -hmm. you think that you're someone they should meet? Like, mm -hmm. You might not want to meet them, but don't you think you're a pretty great person? Right. They so should they want to be you. And that opens them up to okay. a whole new avenue to where they feel like, well, yeah, you're right. I am pretty cool. Right. Yeah, they right. should know me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's some of the things that we teach them to help them come out their shell, be a little bit more open okay. to relationship. We teach them things like proper ways to shake hands. Oh, proper nice. ways for ladies to sit, mm -hmm. proper ways for gentlemen to take their coats off or mm -hmm. things of that nature, proper right. dining etiquette. Yes. We also teach them interview skills, whether okay. you're interviewing for college mm -hmm. or a job or if you're going on a casting. Right. We teach them all of that so okay. that they can be prepared to go out here in any realm of mm -hmm. the world they want to go yeah. into. They just have certain tools to take them into that. We have acting classes nice. where it kind of helps them get out their shell and to teach them how to turn it on and turn it off. Okay. You know, some people can't take people with bold personalities or right. things like that. So you got to know when to turn it on and turn it off. So we have a whole structure type of program. It's a total of eight classes. Okay. Nine if you choose the photo shoot option. Okay. But it's a total of eight classes where we take them from introduction to graduation. Nice. You know, from shaking hands to preparing for a... Um, uh, a television interview. Okay. You know, things that we actually bring a camera guy in, okay. set up the whole set, mm -hmm. we make them all pick out commercials and scripts. They all have to do a 30 second commercial nice. in front of the camera. Okay. So, I mean, it's a really fun open program. Yeah. We make sure they all get involved. We don't have them just sitting there talking to them, but it's like school because mm -hmm. I give them everything we teach them, I give it to them in paper. Okay. We have tests. Nice. <laughs> like, so I want to make sure you're right. grasping everything yeah. we're teaching you from week to week. Right. I give them little quizzes and mm -hmm. tests. So it, it's really fun. I, I enjoy doing it, and that's really where, where my passion is. I just yeah. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy working with the students. I enjoy making the relationships with the parents, mm -hmm. and I just feel good about being a light in this world that's making someone else feel better about themselves. Well, I'm sure they appreciate you. Do they come back and kind of tell you that? All the time. Yeah. I, I, I have probably, I'm going to say again, probably about 90% of my students, mm -hmm. 80 to 90% of them, I have open relationships with them. They're constantly texting me or mm -hmm. calling me. Miss Nee say I went to an audition. Miss Nee say I had a photo shoot. Miss okay. Nee say I'm in this. Okay. So I mean, a lot of them are doing things, and they all definitely reach back out, you mm -hmm. know, and just to say hi. They even come to some of the classes afterwards just okay. to see the new students yeah. or to say hi. Okay. So. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Okay. You know, what's funny is some of the things you mentioned, I think that this generation takes for granted, like you said, shaking hands or how to have a conversation. I think those are things that we're not taught anymore. We're not teaching our children mm -hmm. anymore. We just think it's something they should know, and it's really not something that they should know as, you know, social skills. So I think that's really, mm -hmm. really awesome. I want to ask you, though, what is the key to a go-see? What, what would you tell a new model coming up or go see what's the key other than being on time. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Right. They are a stickler for a topic, yes, and yes. that that was kind of hard for me. Mm -hmm. It was kind of hard but easy for me because okay. I'm not the most time conscious person. Okay, you know, when it comes about making some money, I'm then busy. Then on time. Right. But when you have to just be somewhere and they're right. going to do your makeup and your hair and everything, mm -hmm. that makes it easier to be on sure. time. But when yeah. you have to do your own makeup and everything, yeah. sometimes that's a process. Yeah. So I would say the easiest thing for a go see, um, just some tips that I could give mm -hmm. is pull your hair out your face. Okay. They want to see your face. Okay. They don't go in there super glammed up. Less mm -hmm. is best. Okay. So you don't want to go in there with your face beat to the okay. guys. Okay. Okay. That's you know? a good tip. Because you know we go going beat. They're going to go beat to the guys, right. baby. they go going to neck the makeup kind of yes. somebody going to make my face. Yes. No. Less is best. The okay. most natural face that you can put on. I mm -hmm. tell young ladies, we teach them how to do a basic natural face. Okay. Because when you go to a go see a casting call, they want to see what they can do to mm -hmm. you, not what you can do to you. Okay. So that's one of the best tips that I can give is okay. less is best. Put your hair out your face so that they can see the shape of your face, mm -hmm. the structure of your face. Right. They can see you. They want to see face mainly, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to modeling. Right. So even if you have long hair, make sure you choose styles. That's, that yeah, shows okay. you're out of your face. Okay. If you if you don't have to wear a ponytail, pull it back, but pull it back behind your ears, okay. things of that nature. If you have a shortcut, that works well. Okay. It's easy for girls with shortcuts. Right. So less is best. Okay. Wear some nice black jeans if you have them, mm -hmm. form-fitting. 
t-shirt, no loose or baggy clothes. They okay. want to see your shape and your body oftentimes. Okay. And just prepare. Depend, no matter what you're going for, prepare. Mm -hmm. Do your homework. Right. If you're going to see an agency or a company, look up that agency. Absolutely. See some mm -hmm. of the things that they've done, people they've represented. Mm -hmm. Have questions for right. them because they're not just interviewing you, you're interviewing them. Right. You have to see if it's a best, a good fit. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are so eager just to get into it. They'll take anything. Mm -hmm. But no, do your homework, research who you're going to see, mm -hmm. um, and just be prepared. Practice, okay. practice, practice. Okay. You know, talking in the mirror, looking in the mirror, pronouncing right. your words right. right. Practice being professional. Don't go in there just like, I don't know, I've never done it. Uh, yeah, yeah, they don't want it. Yeah, prepare, they don't hear that. Prepare, 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 prepare. Right. <laughs> and the walk, that's kind of the, how do you find your, your walk? Because I've seen, I've seen plain walks and mm -hmm. that's fine, but I've seen walks that just slay everything. Yeah. How do you really get your walk? Is it based on your personality or how do you, yeah, how do you get into it? I would it? say you have to, one, you have to be comfortable in your Okay. Um, it's you. Right. Don't try to imitate someone else. Absolutely. You want to do the specifics, which is a lot of people say, walk with one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell my secret. It's just walk in a straight line. Right. <laughs> do that. It's it's right. Walk in a straight line. That's right. right. You one foot in front of the other yeah. anyway. Yeah. You know? So just figure you have a straight line and you're trying to walk it. Okay. That's exactly what it is, what mm -hmm. modeling is. So you want to walk a straight line, but you want to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You want to feel sexy. And posture is the number one key to okay. finding your walk. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, tell us what you got coming up, or you got anything going on? Um, well, I, I mean, I, you know, I still say new mommy. Okay. Because even though my child is two years old, that's a new mommy. It's new that's to me. New, new. Okay. Is my, this your first? It's my first. Oh my gosh. My whole life has changed. Oh, it's yeah. not me anymore. Okay. <laughs> Only person I ever been responsible for is myself. Okay, so and now you have the whole other person. Oh my God! So <laughs> this was really challenging for mm -hmm. me, and I did eye shine all the way through my pregnancy. Okay, and I have a great assistant director, mm -hmm. um, Sean Edwards. Okay. He is awesome. He okay. works with the kids. He's a previous professional model. Okay, retired as well, and. So when I went out for maternity leave, he took over the classes. Aww. He did okay. great. And after I had the baby, I came right back. Mm -hmm. So I needed a little break, you yeah. know. So in 2015, I really didn't do many classes, okay. you know. So with 2016 starting, I really want to go back into mm -hmm. the workshops and the classes. Yeah. Like I said, I had to narrow down this new mommy thing. Oh, yeah. And how to work oh, it yeah. into my life, oh, you know, yeah. and everything. Absolutely. So coming June or July, mm -hmm. I'm going to restart iShine. Okay. revamp it. I'm really working on um, getting with some people that can help me with funding. Okay. Because I really want the program to be where anybody can come and right. take this program even if you cannot financially afford it. Right. So I want to be able to fund it so that if you want to come and take this program and can't afford it, you can. Okay. Because yeah. I feel it's something, it's a need yeah. for the kids. So I'm really working hard on that, trying to find the right group of people so that we can get some grants, get it funded, yeah. so that we can, one, take a small program into schools mm -hmm. maybe and to have it available for people to want to come to iShine yeah. and work. So in cool. July, we're going to start the classes back up. Okay. I'm working on that. Um, okay. I still do some hosting, so I'm nice. out and about hosting. Nice. But um, okay. that's the direction iShine is going. I okay. want to open it up so it can be a little bit more public. Because okay. I feel it's a need. Yeah, it's a need absolutely. For these young yeah. women and these young men. Yes. But definitely our young women. Yeah. Because they are... They, they just do not have, I feel, with the reality TV show mm -hmm. world and the image of woman yeah. that they see on TV, yeah. that's not woman. Right, right. They need to embrace right. being a woman again. Yes, I agree. And that's what I want iShine to be about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, how can the followers and viewers find out about iShine? And um, we do have a website. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say you got to be on the internet. Yeah, absolutely. So we do have a website. Okay. Our website is www.myishine.com. Okay. And Shine is spelled with a Y. So mm -hmm. it's M Y I S H Y N E dot com. Okay. okay. Um, they can reach out to me there via email, okay. iShine101 at Gmail. You know, okay. all my information is on the website. Good. People can contact me by phone, email, Facebook. I'm on Facebook. It's Nisei Harris. Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty easy to find and catch up okay. with. <laughs> well, I have one last question I ask all my guests. If I was coming over Nisei's house, what was she going to feed me? What's your signature dish? What, 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 what can you do? Now, you got a two-year-old now, so. Okay. Do you eat meat? 
I do. Okay, see, the good thing I was raised, you know, my grandma didn't like to cook. So okay. I know how to cook some meat. Okay. You know, but I don't eat meat anymore. Okay. Um, I, I live a vegetarian lifestyle. Okay. And, um, I'll but, eat some veggies. Okay, now. girl, now I can fix you up some stuff. Okay. Though, and okay. Let's enjoy. Yeah. I, I okay. have some meat, but I can't say that I have that one signature meal okay. that's like awesome. Okay. You know, I have friends that, I have one friend that loves my salmon Alfredo. Mm. And, um, and I good. love my white chicken chili. Okay. Now, when I that make it, too. it's so good, girl. Now, okay. when I make it, I make a pot for the people who like meat. So okay. Like chicken, okay. I, I make some without meat for me and the baby. Okay. I think you'll love it. I yeah. have to make you some. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But you, you might have to bring some food up too, because I like to eat too. Now. Okay, we'll see what we just pop the pot look. <laughs> well, Lisa, thank you so much for being on Live thank On Purpose. You. I think you're an inspiration to our youth, and I can't wait until you start. I shine up again. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank yeah. you for having me. I really appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Once again, we had a fabulous show. Thank you for tuning in to Live on Purpose. Each and every Saturday, we have wonderful guests, and tonight, it was none other than Nisa Harris for iShine. Listen, make sure you follow us, share this, make sure you also subscribe on YouTube, Live on Purpose. We can't wait until next Saturday, so we'll see you soon. And in the meantime, make sure you live your life with purpose.